Welcome to our lecture online. Now here it's where it's beginning to get really interesting, where we have three or even four inequalities that we have to solve at the same time. And methodology where the non-shaded region is the solution becomes the easiest way to deal with it. So we simply keep shading away the portions that are not part of the solution. So let's take a look at our first example here. Notice we have three lines. Um, the reason why I have three lines is because we have an equal sign on all three of the inequalities. Let's start with the easy one, x greater than or equal to 1. So let's pick a point. Let's pick the point 0, 0, which is on the left side of the line here. Sometimes it's not a bad idea to label the lines. So let's call this 1, 2, and 3. So this vertical line here is line number 2. The parabola, well, that would be line number 1 or function number 1 or curve number one, and then we have this one right here, which is number three. Okay, so for line number two, we pick the point zero, zero, plug in zero for x, is zero greater than one? The answer is no, that means this is not part of the solution, this is, so we get rid of the portion that is not part of the solution. Okay, now let's go for this line right here. Again, we pick the point 0, 0, plug in 0 and 0 is 0 minus 0, which is still 0. Less than 9, the answer is yes. That means that below this line is part of the solution, above the line is not part of the solution, so we go ahead and get rid of everything above that line, which is not part of the solution. And finally, we get to number 1. That's a parabola. Uh, you can see that the point 0, 0 may be in or outside regions. So that's not a good region to use, but we can use this point right here. We can use the point 1, 0, which is clearly inside the parabola. And if we plug in 0 for y and 1 for x, what do we get? We get 0 greater than or equal to question mark, 0 minus 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, that gives you 4 minus 3, which is a positive 1. Is 0 greater than 1? The answer is no. That means I picked a point which is not part of the solution. Let's see, did I do this right? Uh, one, oh no, I didn't do it right. Okay, let me take this back. I think I made a mistake in my attempt here. Let me try this again. So I'm plugging in the point one zero. X is one, Y is zero. So we have zero greater than or equal to 1 minus 2 quantity squared minus 3. That's better. So that's a question mark. So is 0 greater than or equal to, this is negative 1 squared, which is 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. Question mark. And the answer is yes. All right. So I picked the point that is part of the solution, which means on the other side of the parabola, that's not part of the solution. So we go ahead and shade out everything on the outside of the parabola as not part of the solution. And, that, and now there's clearly just one region that is still left unshaded. It's to the right of the straight line here, below the straight line here, and inside this portion of the parabola. So this here is the solution. Everything outside is not part of the solution. And that is how you find the solution to a system of inequalities, linear or nonlinear. Here we have four inequalities. And let's start with the easy ones. x must be greater or equal to 0, y must be greater than or equal to 0. So x greater than 0 is everything to the right of the y-axis. Everything to the left of the, of the y-axis does not count. So we can get rid of that. Notice that the line itself is part of the solution because we have the equal symbols. Everywhere we have equal symbols. y greater than 0, that means everything above the x-axis, so everything below the x-axis, can be shaded out which means a solution can only exist in this quadrant right here. Now let's go to the ellipse. Less than or equal to 1. Well, from, remember from the first video, we realized that if it's an ellipse and it's less than a number, that means that everything inside the ellipse is valid. Everything outside the ellipse is not valid. If you're not sure, just pick a point, 0, 0. 0 plus 0 is that less than 1? The answer is yes, so that's part of the solution outside the, the ellipse is not part of the solution. So we get rid of everything outside the ellipse. So now all we have left is right in here. What part of that 
is satisfies all of them at the same time. So now we, let's go to the hyperbola. Here we can see that it's greater than negative than the one. That means that the origin is typically not included. If we pick the origin zero, zero zero is that greater than one? The answer is no. So it's everything outside the region from the hyperbola that includes the origin. That means this is valid, but below is not valid. So we can go ahead and shade that out as well. So that would be valid, but again, everything else is, says it's not valid. So we only have one region left that satisfies all four inequalities at the same time. Right here, there's our solution. Everything else around it does not satisfy all the inequalities at the very same time. And that is how we find the solution to a system of inequalities. Now you may say, why in the world do we need to use this? There's actually a number of places where this comes in very handy, especially when we're dealing with what we call optimization type problems, especially in finance. And so you'll see that there are some very good valid applications to use this kind of thing. And yes, we'll be using that, so stay tuned. But learn this technique because that makes it easier when we get to the application portion of this kind of thing. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that at some later time. And that is how it's done. Pretty much. It looks like something exploded on the board. Yeah, but notice it's that little region that's not shaded. That's the solution. <laughs> All right.